Now at five, the race to rescue a dog who wound up in deep trouble. Bandit fell dozens of feet into an uncovered well in Middleborough. And the rescue mission was really a tricky one. But as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us, something about Bandit's breed may have helped him to survive. Bandit has a special skill. His owners call it keepy uppy. I think you get how it works. He jumps, the balloon goes up. Only this week, he jumped himself into a predicament. Unfortunately, we have a lot of, uh, I guess, feral cats in the neighborhood. Bandit caught notice of one. Quickly, he took off toward a neighbor's home, but didn't return. She can hear him yelping, but he's not getting back to us. Terry's wife, Nicole, bolted out the door. <sighs> Within a minute, she's running into the house. She says, call the fire department, call the fire department. The dog's in a hole. Bandit fell into an uncovered well next door. And those are glowing dots are his eyes at the bottom. The one-year-old pooch plummeted almost 30 feet. He's in about two feet of water, and that was the, confer the, the concern is he was going to get hypothermic. Fire crews showed up, but the well wasn't safe to enter without the proper protection. The next step would be they had to call the county tactical team. Right? And so we were. Sounds like SWAT is coming in. Right, your dog. right. And no, we were scared to death, to be honest. The tactical team arrived with special equipment. And they brought in a tripod, which put a worker down. He was in that hole for two hours and 10 minutes. This is his exit day, freedom. Rescue crews told Terry his breed's thicker coat protected him against the cold water, giving them a longer rescue time. Somehow he managed no broken bones, but he is a bit sore. Their neighbors will be back filling the well as a precaution. I've never seen such a response yeah. um, like this. In Middleborough, I'm Mike Sullivan. <laughs> WBZ News. Yeah.